Hi folks, Gavin here from Play TV, and today I'm going to be taking a look at one of the latest motherboards from the Ace of Republic Game of Range. This is the Strix Z270G Gaming, which is an MATX board supporting the Kaby Lake processor launch, but it also has um, support for Skylake, so 7th generation processors and 6th generation processors are all supported. Is this the best MATX motherboard that's going to be out? Let's find out now. So, the Strix Z270G Gaming is an MATX motherboard. It's got a lot of notable features about it. Um, obviously, for an MATX board, they're obviously it's cut down on terms of PCIe lanes, but um, in terms of features, it's you know completely virtually the same as an ATX board. So, as I mentioned, it's supporting Intel's seventh generation processors, so the Kaby Lake, so the likes of the Intel i7, i7700K. We, this is basically the Maximus gene replacement. Obviously, Asus have rolled out a new brand. Well, obviously, Republica Gamers, ROG isn't, and Strix aren't new brands, but the Strix motherboards on the desktop platform are now here, and this is probably one of the nicest, dinkiest looking ones um, that's currently on the market. So, in terms of features and spec, we've got four DIMM slots with memory up to 64 gig. It also has um, overclockable um, memory that you, if your memory is, if you can push it far enough, it supports up to 4,000 megahertz overclocked, which is, you know, pretty decent. Um, it's got two PCI x 16 lanes. Both of them feature the ROG Armor um, metal plating. So obviously they're very, very strong and sturdy. It also has two PCI um, times one slots, um, as well as things like sound cards, RAID controllers, um, and so forth. In terms of um, connectivity um, around the board, we've got plenty of fan headers. We've got obviously CPU fan. We've got two CPU fan headers. We also have a water pump um, header as well which is great if you're into custom water cooling. Um, even like the likes of the Corsair coolers, you can plug them directly in and you can control it via the BIOS as well. Um, all the relative suspects are there in terms of, um, you know, your Q, connect, Q connectors. So you do get a Q connector in the box. Perfect if you don't want to fiddle around with all the little cables. It simply tells you where to plug it in, plug it into the board and away you go. Um, obviously, it has the likes of the the newer Maximus 9 range, it has the um, Supreme FX and it's got obviously got the upgraded um, S1220A um, codec built in. So onboard audio is obviously improved, um, especially and you, you'll find this across most of the Z, if not all of the Z270 Asus Republic of Gamers range, as well as the Strix, which is the board we're looking at today. So yeah, in terms of connections at the back, We've got six, um, sorry, I'm looking at the SATA ports now. We've got six SATA ports. These will run um, in RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. You will obviously have to use the Intel Rapid Storage utility to do this, but um, it's very easy to use. In terms of connections at the back, we have four USB 3 sockets, um, ports, should I say. We have two USB 2 ports. We have a USB 3.1 Type-A and a Type-C. We also have DisplayPort. We've also got a HDMI as well for the onboard graphics on the Intel chips. And um, obviously we have the ROG Supreme FX. We have the, um, the onboard audio, so it supports 7.1. And we've got the three 5.0 jacks and a SPIDF optical out. Um, we also have an RJ45 um, Ethernet port for a gigabit LAN. And we also have a PS2 connection for the old style game controllers, keyboards and mice. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, the board itself does also feature Asus Aura. Now that means RGB is enabled. It's only enabled on the south, well, what we call a south bridge heatsink, um, which, you know, is relatively good. It is an MATX board. It's a Strix board. It's not a fully fledged, you know, Republic of Gamers Maximus board. There are some limitations to that. If you want ultra fast storage, we have an M.2 um, port on the PCI, the second, or should, should I say the first PCI times one lane. 
We also have one on the back as well. So you can use dual M.2 drives, um, NMVE enabled. Um, you can obviously run them in RAID as well. Obviously Intel storage speed, uh, Intel rapid speed tech um, utility, you, you get the drift. Um, but yeah, to, to save myself rambling on, looking at the power phases, um, it's got an eight plus two phase design. So um, two for the memory and eight for the CPU as well. Um, it hasn't got LN2 mode, which is a shame because this is the kind of board I would really love to get liquid nitrogen all over, get it all soaked up, soaked, LN2'd up, should I say. Um, but yeah, it looks great. It's got um, everything that you would need from a from an ATX motherboard, let alone an MATX motherboard. But yeah, I think it's time that we put this particular board through its paces, see how it gets on, and come back after, well, we've tested it. So, as you can see from the benchmarks, and they don't need explaining, the scores, obviously you could see them. If you want to go back and check them again, you can pause them and you can see them clearly. Um, obviously, um, this board isn't ATX, it's MATX. So, with that, you get improved memory performance. And as you can see from the memory performance testing, um, this particular board does absolutely fantastic. The reason that is, is because the tracks from the CPU um, and the AMC on the CPU are shorter on a MATX board than they are on an ATX board. And this obviously improves memory performance. This is one of the reasons why MATX and MATX are very highly favored for overclocking, mainly due to the fact that the memory can be pushed further usually and it does offer a slightly better performance than ATX. That being said, the performance is negligible. Um, you're not gonna notice it in games. You're not gonna notice it really in applications, just in heavy synthetic benchmarks. So yeah, what do I think of the Z270G Gaming Strix motherboard? Well, I actually like it and I believe it deserves our gold award. Not just because, um, you know, I like the look of it. It performs well. It's priced at $189.99 in the UK at launch, which is pretty much the same as what the Gene was. So it's, I, I would say, um, and please don't kill me, it says it's pretty much the Gene replacement. So if you're looking for the latest Z270 Gene motherboard, then this is the one that you want. It's got all the features that you could want. Asus Aura RGB lighting. It's got 8 plus 2 phase, powerful for overclocks. Fantastic memory performance. It's got two M.2 drive um, ports where it's fan the connectivity on it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, one thing I would like to say is the actual layout of the board is good as well. All of the fan headers are on the outside of the board, so there's none hidden inside. So if you're looking to make a, a nice MATX build and say like a Parvum case, you can do that without having cables trailing all over the place. Um, as I mentioned, it, this particular board will run in Crossfire and SLI too. Um, you, up to four way, but you do need two cores per card to do that. The Both the slots are armoured, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and yeah. Asus have got a little winner here with the MATX boards. Um, a few things I do want to mention as well, just to top off the review. Um, you know, Asus's software package that comes with the board includes the likes of the RAM disk, RAM cache, um, sonar, um, so for in-game positional audio, the Supreme FX, obviously, the software is very easy to use as an advanced and as a basic mode. So if you're a bit of a noob, 
um, and you're a bit of a noob, sorry, why am I repeating myself? If you're a bit of a noob and you don't know really know how to set the audio, you can use the basic setup and it will have presets where you can obviously change it. And depending on what your preferences are, if you like heavy bass, you know, you play a heavy metal dubstep or whatever, it's good. So yeah, just wanted to get those out of the way. Um, as I mentioned, it's £189.99. And to be, to be honest, for them, it's probably going to be the best MATX motherboard on the platform. ASRock um, have apparently confirmed that the MOCF MATX board isn't being made on the Z270. So I think Asus have got it in the bag now. Um, and I'd obviously, I'd like to thank Asus for sending the Strix 270G gaming in for review. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you guys like the video. Um, Please check out our other KB Lake Z270 motherboard reviews. And um, we've got a couple of them, obviously. Um, as we've got actually we've got loads, but whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Is this the type of board you like? Are you waiting? Have you been waiting for the gene? And if so, does this satisfy you? What do you think of the new Republic of Gamers Strix motherboard branding? Um, nothing new. It's been seen the next 99, but obviously. Desktop platform, as far as desktop platform goes, we've got a real winner here. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and ciao for now.